Hello everyone and welcome back. I am your girl, The Rain Young. And today I want to discuss with you the importance of a home inspection and what it is. So when purchasing a house, you um, have the opportunity to get an inspector to come out and do a full-blown inspection on the house. Now, um, this person is certified and trained in this field, so not just anybody can go do it. Um, it typically costs around three to five hundred dollars, depending on the square footage of the home. And so they come out and they expect they inspect absolutely every single thing about the house, all the way down to if the wall socket that covers the light switch if it's cracked. Um, they tell you the in and outs of everything that's wrong with that house and you typically get this done during your due diligence period when you um, first go under contract when purchasing a home and the due diligence period is a time frame that's agreed upon between the two parties in the transaction um so the time frame can the time frame can fluctuate depending upon what y'all agree on. And during that time is when you get all your inspections and everything done. And therefore you can make an educated decision on if you wanna move forward with purchasing that home or not. Um, during that time frame, you can pull out of the deal without losing your earnest money, which is a, a, it's like good faith money that you put down towards the house. Um, it's typically around 1% of the total um, asking price of the home that y'all agreed to. And with the home inspection, the, they give you a report with all kind of pictures and everything. And you read through the report and you decide, okay, the things that came back in this report are these things that I can live with. Are these things that I don't mind getting fixed? Or are these things um items that you don't want to deal with and this is just too much and i i no longer want to pursue this house so let's cancel the contract you're afforded that opportunity when you get an inspection um also when you get the inspection um and the report comes back and you read through it that gives you the opportunity um to go back to the negotiation table with the sellers and say hey um this is wrong and that is wrong i would like for you to fix these things and then they can say yes we'll fix them or no nah, we're not fixing that and we could just terminate the contract um or the sellers can say hey no we don't want to fix that and then you have the opportunity to, to say, okay, well, fine. They don't want to fix it. I still want this house and you can continue to move forward. Now, what I will say is that a home inspection is not mandatory. However, it is highly recommended um, because once you close on that house, whatever is wrong with that house is now your problem. So if the house has foundational issues, that you were unaware about because you chose to be cheap and not pay for a home inspection. Now you just purchased a home with foundational issues that's gonna cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars to fix if fixable, instead of you just simply paying $300, $400, $350 for a home inspection. That could have gave you the opportunity to make an educated decision on do I want to purchase a home with foundational issues, okay? So um, I said all that to say, when you are going through the home buying process, I highly recommend you to get a home inspection. Whether it is optional or not, you want to get a home inspection. Now, I also will say, going through the home buying process, each house that you put a contract in on, if your contract is accepted, you typically get a home inspection on each one of those properties. No, you do not get your money back. If you get a home inspection done on a house and you decide, oh, this house has too many issues and I don't wanna move forward with this house, your money is gone, okay? It is gone, chop that up. 
but you have to look at it with the thought process of who i just dodged a bullet because had you not got that home inspection you would have taken on the house with whatever the issues were that caused you to terminate that contract so you terminate that contract now you find another house you like you put a contract in on that house it gets accepted now you're in due diligence yes you're gonna pay another three to five hundred dollars for a home inspection for that house as well okay but you just have to go into it knowing that this is probably one of the largest purchases you're going to make in your life and therefore you need to be smart about it and you need to go into it making a educated decision and therefore you need to be prepared and have your mind right to know that you could potentially pay for more than one home inspection and if it doesn't go well it just does not go well and yes you pay for more than one home inspection okay now if you have a good realtor they and the um inspection doesn't go well if you have a good realtor they will know how to potentially help you recoup some if not all of that money back from your home inspection however that's if you have a good realtor i have had more than one client that i have helped recoup some if not all of their money back from a home inspection um but that's all i'm gonna say on that uh so that's all i have for you today i just wanted to educate you all on what a home inspection is why you need to have one whether it is optional or not and i thank you for tuning in please go follow me on all social media platforms at png financial um and then follow me over on spotify um i have a podcast it's png financial solutions over there and i will see you all in the next one please comment like subscribe and share and all of that good stuff thank you for your time